The Ambazonian people have endured an oppressive and bastardized educational system imposed by La Republic du Cameroon for far too long. And it is time for change. The current conflict in Ambazonia, entering its seventh year, was sparked by dissatisfaction with a bastardized educational system imposed on us by La Republique du Cameroon. French administrators were sent to an exclusively Anglo-Saxon school system to run the schools. Their policy of bilingualism whereby they set up so-called bilingual schools all over our territory was meant essentially to gradually transform us into fluent speakers of the French language. This is true because the level of enforcement of bilingual, of bilingual education in our territory isn't its equivalent in their own territory. French-speaking teachers are sent to teach mathematics, history, physics, among others, in a language our students do not just understand. In many cases, they set up these schools only to turn around and abandon them to our PTAs to finance. Decades after its formation, the GCE board still doesn't have any independence or autonomy over the standard of exams in our Anglo-Saxon educational system. They serve at the mercy of Yaoundé. Their goodwill suggestions are always seen from the lenses of separatists. La République du Cameroon failed to address these concerns before the war. They have not addressed them during the war. And they will not address them after the war if they have seen no need to address them now. And as we forget, they are also refusing to negotiate an end to this war. Those who lead Cameroon believe it must be their way or the highway. Let me remind them, however, that this cool thing is non-negotiable as far as we here at the interim government are concerned. Government schools aren't the only schools operating in Ambazonia proud to this. Every parent should find a way to enroll their children in those schools, in private schools. We know for sure that Francophones will want to defy these instructions. But let me warn them that they will pay with their children and the teachers who are seen in any classroom operated by La Republic du Cameroon administrators. The people of Ambazonia deserve an educational system that reflects their cultural identity, that promotes inclusivity and prepares the youth for a prosperous future. By prohibiting the resumption of government-operated schools, the Ambazonia interim government aims to send a strong message to La Republic du Cameroon that the status quo is unacceptable and that it is over. It is over. It is an assertion of the people's rights to equality education and a demand for a new country and government that listens and acts according to the will of the people. Come to think about this, ladies and gentlemen, for a moment. La Republique du Cameroon withdrew, withdrew all teachers from Libyalum. I mean all of them. But they are out there singing the song, saying all government schools should, be, should reopen. How about those in Libyalum? This selective action raises questions about La Republique du Cameroon's commitment to providing equal educational opportunities to all Ambazonian children. If La Republique du Cameroon 
can pull out teachers from one county. Why should government schools be allowed to open anywhere else except in the BLM, isn't it? Our prohibition of government school resumption should not be seen as an abandonment of education, but rather as an opportunity for parents to explore, to explore alternative options. Community or private schools can provide an environment conducive to learning while taking into consideration the security and safety of the children. It is crucial to ensure that children's education is not compromised in the face of the conflict, but rather adapted to suit the current circumstances. Cameroon is preaching school resumption to disguise their return to no mercy campaign they have been preaching all this long. It is all about no mercy. It is not because they love the children. It is all for no mercy to return. The only day no mercy will return to Ambazonia and La Republic to Cameroon is when both parties have agreed to, ne to negotiate. No attempt at forcing no mercy is going to yield any fruit. The Ambazonian people have repeatedly witnessed the failure of peace processes to end this conflict and address the educational lapses. Cameroon's government has walked away. Again, they have walked away from every one initiative to end the war. The refusal to engage in meaningful negotiations only exacerbates the existing tensions and prolongs the suffering of the Ambazonian people. But Ambazonian people are up to the task. We will not blink. We will not look back. We will not capitulate, not surrender. In light of these failed attempts, the Ambazonian interim government has taken the responsibility to prioritize the welfare of its citizens, including their right to education. By prohibiting La Republic du Cameroon so-called government school resumptions in Ambazonia, the interim government aims to demonstrate its commitment to finding alternative solutions that can bring about tangible changes in the educational system. Today's decision should serve as a wake-up call to La Republic du Cameroon, urging them, urging them to consider engaging in sincere dialogue to resolve this conflict. The Ambazonia interim government's decision to prohibit the resumption of La Republic du Cameroon operated schools in the territory is a bold and necessary step towards reminding La Republic du Cameroon died, Ambazonia is gone and gone for good. The conflict, now entering its seventh year, was ignited by the dissatisfaction with a bastardized educational system imposed on us by La Republic du Cameroon. Despite years of protests and pleas for reform, La Republic du Cameroon has shown a lack of willingness to negotiate an end to the conflict or make substantial changes to the educational system in that country. The Ambazonia interim government, representing the aspirations and rights of the Ambazonian people, has taken a stand against the oppressive educational system by prohibiting, banning, ladies and gentlemen, the resumption of so-called La Republic du Cameroon government schools in our territory. This decision is a manifestation of the people's demand for a government that listens and acts in the best interests of the people. It sends a clear message to La Republic du Cameroon that the status quo is unacceptable in that the people of Ambazonia 
deserve an educational system that reflects their cultural identity and prepares the youth for a prosperous future. Nothing else. We will settle for nothing else but that. The prohibition of Cameroon government schools resuming re resumption should not be perceived as a neglect of education, but rather as an opportunity for parents and communities to come together and to create alternative learning environments. Community or private schools can provide education that is tailored to the needs of the Ambazonian children integrating their cultural heritage and fostering a sense of belonging. It is, a, it is crucial to ensure that children's education continues uninterrupted, even, even in the face of this conflict, in that their future prospects are not compromised. By prohibiting or banning the resumption of Cameroon government schools operational in Ambazonia, the Ambazonia interim government emphasizes the urgency for meaningful dialogue. It is a deliberate step towards pressurizing the Republic du Cameroon to acknowledge the grievances of the Ambazonian people and work towards a comprehensive resolution of the conflict. The decision acts as a catalyst for change and a reminder that the people of Ambazonia will no longer tolerate an educational system that does not meet the needs of today's world, the needs of their children. To all managers and proprietors of community or private schools in Ambazonia, we make this urgent appeal to you today. We caution you, again, we caution you and call for ethical conduct during these challenging times. It has come to our attention that some private schools have been taking advantage of desperate parents by charging exorbitant school fees. This exploitation is particularly concerning since government schools are currently shut down, allowing the private institutions to admit even more students than usual. This is a windfall for the private schools. They won't get had the government schools been operating to be able to admit more students, but charge them double at the same time is gross exploitation, and we will not allow that to continue. We are going to monitor every private school operating on ground zero. We implore you to consider the ethical implications of your actions. Desperate parents who are seeking education for their children should not be subjected to exorbitant fees or school fees that exploit their vulnerability. Education is a fundamental right and it is crucial that private schools or community schools uphold their responsibility to provide affordable and accessible education to all. Let me address another dis disconcerting matter here. It has been reported that some private schools continue to promote, they continue to promote the use of the former La Republic du Cameroon national anthem and raise its flag in our territory. We want to remind all proprietors and school managers that the interim government has prohibited has banned the use of La Republic du Cameroon national anthem in schools and the raising of its flag is considered an abomination and an act of treason in our territory. As private school owners, proprietors, you have a responsibility to respect and adhere to the regulations set forth by the interim government. 
failure to comply with these regulations may result, again, may result in severe consequences, including the closure or shutting down of your establishment, your school. We urge you, therefore, to prioritize the well-being and education of the students entrusted to your care. Instead of exploiting desperate parents, consider implementing fair and reasonable fee structures that ensure access to a quality education for all. By doing so, you contribute at this moment to the betterment of society and foster an environment that promotes inclusivity and equity at this time in a struggle. Let us remember that education is a powerful tool that shapes the future of our new country. It is our collective duty to ensure that every child, every child has the opportunity to receive a quality education without being subjected to unethical practices or divisive ideologies. We trust that you, and I mean you, the proprietors, private school proprietors, will take this warning seriously and make the necessary adjustments to align with the principles of fairness, inclusivity, and patriotism. Together, we can build a stronger educational system that serves the best interests of our children and our new country too. The interim government has not, again, the interim government has not called for any lockdown. We have not called for any lockdown and we do not plan to call for, for one anytime soon. However, our regular Monday ghost towns will continue to be intensified. We understand the argument of those who think that a lockdown is needed to stop the Republic of Cameroon schools from operating. But that just doesn't have common sense. Again, it just doesn't have common sense. Because it means you will have to, you will have to lock down for the entire school season to stop the Republic schools. It is not feasible. Our plan is to target individual out of public operated schools that violate our injunctions. We therefore urge every Amazonian to go about his or her regular business, keeping in mind Monday ghost towns. Monday ghost towns, they remain strongly, strongly in place. And that is my monologue, ladies and uh, gentlemen.